All right, so how's it going, guys? Chris here. Hope you all are doing well. I know, <laughs> I know, I haven't uploaded in quite some time. I believe the last video that I uploaded was in October or September of last year. So, yes, it's, it's definitely been a year since I uploaded, and a lot of you guys have been asking for me. And um, I, I mean, I've been doing pretty well. I'm, I'm been doing great actually. Um, if you guys were actually in the Discord that I have set up and. I know it's not so active at the moment, but hopefully it will be soon. But if you guys were in there, you guys would have seen that I was actively trading up until about June of this year. Yeah, up until about June. Um, I was in there every day and, and you know, posting, you know, uh, you know, charts and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I, I, you know, summer trading was in full effect and I, I really didn't want to be caught trading in that environment. So I took some, some, took some time off. Uh, during that time off, I ended up quitting my job, uh, went, did some traveling, took some more time off, and now I'm back here trying to jump back into this and uh, hopefully be able to upload more regularly uh, into the end of the year and next year as well. So if you guys are new to the channel and you're interested in order flow and scalping videos, uh, you know, future scalping, uh, that's essentially what I, what I upload on here. So I want to go over this setup. I guess as the, the first video uh, coming back to this, uh, this is my new setup that I, I, I put together in the summer. Uh, previously, all this stuff was in another room and I kind of felt cramped in there. Uh, so I moved everything essentially into my living room, which is where we're at now. And uh, it just feels more open. Uh, I just feel a lot better out here. There's more light. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I made this move. So I try to go with a very minimal amount of wires being exposed. And because this is an actual standing desk, you need at least one cable, uh, you know, th that powers everything in here to be exposed and be able to move up and down. So that's essentially all the, the one cable that I have there is the only cable that I try to keep visible. Everything else is, is tied back to the, to the actual frame of the, uh, the desk itself. So, but we're, we'll, we'll talk more about that later. Uh, we're going to, we'll, we'll start off with the chair and then we'll move to the desk and then essentially just move our way up to the to the monitor. All right, so here we go. This is the, the Secret Lab Omega chair uh, that I got uh, earlier this year, I believe. And uh, I'll be straight up with you guys. This isn't the most comfortable chair that I've, that I've had. Um, I always tell people that if it wasn't for the, the head cushion there and the, the back cushion, uh, that it would definitely be the, the most uncomfortable chair out there. I mean, if you if you just listen to this here, it kind of feels like you're hitting, like you're hitting cardboard. It's 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 very stiff. Um, I mean, I, I spent a lot of hours on this chair, and I haven't had any you know issues, any back pain or whatever. But um, and I mean, it looks cool. It, it looks cool in the videos, and a lot of people use this, and I fell for the hype. But would I recommend it? I mean, if you have the spare four hundred dollars and you want to you know show it off in your videos, I guess go for it. But there's a lot more, there's a lot of, you know, there's other chairs out there that are way more more comfortable. I spent $200 on a chair at uh, Stables that was, you know, a lot more comfortable than this, but I mean, it looks cool for the videos. <laughs> uh, I mean, if, yeah, I guess, but I, I definitely wouldn't, uh, wouldn't recommend it. Uh, save your money, I guess. All right, so now as I discussed before, this is the uh, a standing desk. So this is by Uplift and um, Again, all the all this stuff that I'm gonna list list off here in the in this uh, in this video, I'll uh, leave a description, uh, you know, look in the description below, so you guys can check it out if you're interested in uh, picking it up as well. Um, I know Black Friday is coming up, so there's a lot of uh, deals that uh, you guys could uh, that you guys could get. So this is the the a desk by Uplift, and again, it's a standing desk. So again, you could depending on what settings you have. Or and you know what height you have, um, you can save the height to whatever you want, and it'll it'll move up and down. And as I mentioned before, you need at least one, that you know that one power cable that powers the desk, your computers, monitors. You need that to be able to move up and down. So that's the only cable, unfortunately, that is that is visible um, underneath. So everything else I tried to uh, hide below the, the actual desk. Um, so yeah, this is the 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 uplift desk. Uh, you can get the legs separately for about like $3.99, I believe, which is great because you can attach any tabletop to this. Uh, the tabletop that I got before this uh, was was kind of small. It was about four feet, so it was essentially from 
um, the side of the monitor to this side of the monitor. And um, it kind of limited what I could add to the desk. So I ended up going with this tabletop from Ikea. Uh, it was about, it was less than 50 bucks. It was actually pretty affordable. And it gave me an additional two feet where I could either add my, my, my laptop there and use it as an additional screen or get a separate uh, monitor uh, hooked up and, and you know have it on that side to the left of the, to the screen there. So uh, that extra two feet is, is, is great. I, I, I'm glad I did this and, and got that, uh, uh, this tabletop from Ikea. And it's, it's, again, it's really cheap, you guys. It's, it was less than 50 bucks. And uh, the only issue is that it's not the best material um it does it, it's it's essentially a hollow uh door i think it is and um so i got this mat here that prevents any sort of uh you know actual contact with the table itself and it prevents a lot of wear and tear over time so i got this mat from best buy that's HyperX for 20 bucks uh it was a great purchase a lot more comfortable on your on your wrist and your hands to uh to lay it on there and uh, it was a great purchase. It, it, again, it limits a lot of uh, wear and tear on your table. Um, now this, let's go over the mouse and the keyboard itself. So this is a Logitech G604 and I got this at Best Buy as well. This is about, I think this was a hundred bucks, this mouse. And um, I went over in a video or I think I was live streaming, but uh, someone wanted to know how I use the hotkeys on the left. And this is great if you're scalping on the DOM, but uh, I, I might cover that in another video. Um, but yeah, I did. I, I like this mouse because of the, the hotkeys on the left and you could quickly execute trades, exit trades, and uh, that's why I got it. It was definitely worth the, the extra, you know, it's a hundred bucks, which is pretty expensive for a mouse. And um, again, it's Bluetooth. Everything here is try to keep as, as, as you know, cord free as possible. All right, sorry about that guys, got cut off there. But uh, we were gonna discuss the Bluetooth keyboard that I use here for my trading. And uh, this is the Microsoft Surface Bridge. I got it for 60 bucks at uh, Micro Center. And I got this mostly because uh, one is pretty cheap, 60 bucks. And it also has the number keypad on the side here. Uh, my laptop doesn't have that, so it's kind of a pain entering numbers. So having this number keypad on the, on the side here is uh, it's perfect. It, it doesn't light up, there's no uh, backlit keys. Um, it's just a simple, uh, you know, very light aluminum keyboard. And um, what's also cool is that there's different Bluetooth channels here. So as you guys know, I have two different laptops here and uh, being able to switch, you know, quickly switch on the fly what device you want to be able to use a keyboard on is, uh, I think it's pretty cool. And I, I didn't even know I had that feature until I, I, uh, I tried it out. But uh, so yeah, that's the, that's the keyboard. Also, I've had this for about two months and I've charged it, no, I think more than that. I've had it for about two, uh, about three months now, and I've probably charged it once since then. So the, the battery life on that is it's, it's, it's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, definitely recommend that keyboard. Um, all right, so next let's talk about the actual monitor that I have here. Now this is the Samsung 49 inch uh, CHG90, it's called. And uh, again, I just wanted that additional screen real estate to be able to run a lot of my charts and, and doms here. So it's a definite definite bump up from the Alienware 34 inch ultra, ultra wide that I had uh, that I was trading on before. And um, I, I, I love this monitor. This is definitely the best monitor that I've ever purchased. And uh, the only issue with this monitor is let's say if you want to do a, a monitor arm setup, like the way I have it set up here, you need a very beefy um, monitor arm because it's this is a an extremely heavy mo uh, monitor so the monitor arm that i went with is called uh, wano let me show you guys it's called wano uh, single monitor arm i got it on amazon for 80 bucks so it was pretty cheap and for the past two months it's been doing a pretty good job holding holding up this monitor um, there's also a little usb port on the side if you want to charge your phone uh, so it's uh you know having the two is it's a great combination i think uh, the, the the actual uh, stand that the monitor came with, the legs would come up to like halfway to the mat here, and it was just uh, you know I, I like being I like having my my space sort of uncluttered and uh, very little uh, interference or, or conflict with 
uh, what's on my desk there. So I think that's pretty much it. That covers the entire setup. I do have the Razer Siren X uh, microphone that I use there for the videos. Uh, definite bump up from the camera that I was using to record my videos and the audio as well. So definitely, I, I, I mean, it's a, it's a very cheap, it's not definitely not the best microphone out there. Um, but it, I mean, for 80 bucks, it does, it does a great job. And it's very slim, very lightweight. You can uh, quickly, you know, mute yourself if you need to. And um, it cuts out a lot of the background noise and your voice comes out pretty clear and, and crisp. So for 80, for 80 bucks, it does a, a really good job. So uh, I think that covers it, you guys. I think that covers uh, pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about this setup. Again, I set this up in the summer. I'm thinking about getting an additional monitor on the side here now that I have that uh, additional uh, space. Might even put some some uh, pictures up on the on the wall there just because it's <laughs> it's so plain at the moment. But uh, yeah, so that's the setup. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, hopefully, I'll be uploading regularly uh, pretty soon. Again, into the end of the year and into next year as well. I'll, I'll, I'm going to do my best to upload more regularly. So until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Take care.